And thanks for joining us. Tomorrow, the community and family will say goodbye to 11-year-old Anissa Scott, the young girl killed in a shooting last week. That event will also celebrate her life and call for unity. Three teens have been arrested for her death. Amanda Quintana joins us with details of tomorrow's event. Amanda? It's been a long and difficult week for Anissa's family, the community, and the police officers who have been searching for the people responsible for her death. Tomorrow is all about a celebration of her life and for the community to come together. My grandbaby! We'll take her wings! On Saturday, Madison will come together to march, a send-off to Anissa Scott just over a week after she was taken off of life support. She will continue to live through all of us. I just want to go outside and play, like a seven-year-old is supposed to do. I don't want to die. Earlier this week, the world began to hear Anissa's heartbreaking prayers from four years ago. God, can you please heal our city? The same thing she was praying about and I told her that wouldn't happen to her because of where she lived happened to her where she lived. As the three teens accused of being involved in her death await trial. To the folks who are out there pulling these triggers, um, we have to reach out to these young people. This should not have ever, ever happened. The community prepares Bree Stevens for a unique funeral. Anissa's body led by a motorcycle club, a red monster truck will carry her casket. Sweet, sweet baby. That march will begin tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. at the Capitol. People will march then to Bree Stevens Field. That's where her funeral will begin at noon. And that is a private funeral inside of Bree Stevens, but it will be streamed online and you can see it from outside the stadium. And then right after that, there will be a public viewing. Amanda Quintana reporting live tonight. Amanda, thank you.